Hi, this is Leon from Balsamic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use line breaks to add other controls, such as images, within the data grid or table control. Let's take a quick look at what we want to build here. Let's say I want to add a new column to my employee table with each person's photo, something like this. I can do this by adjusting the row height in the property inspector, but sometimes you want more fine-grained control over the row height, or you want different heights for different rows. Here's how you can do that. Okay, let's start with a new mockup. I've already got the photos, so I just want to create a table that they'll fit into. To make it easy, we'll just use the default table data. The rows are too short to add the photos I've got. Again, I can use the row height to adjust them, but for this tutorial, we'll do it another way. Taking a look at the text inside the data grid, you can see that there are some line breaks in there already. You can designate a line break by typing backslash r. Note that this works in most controls, not just the data grid. See how the text wraps where those line breaks are? So what I'm going to do is create a new column called Photo. Now for the rest of the cells in this column, I'm going to create empty placeholders using the line break command four times. Then I'll select this text and repeat it for each row. For this video, I'll delete that last row, which defines the column widths. We'll redo this later. Exiting the editor, you can see that the rows are now much taller because of the line breaks. The only problem now is that the cells aren't wide enough for the photos, so we'll go in and fix that. I'm going to make the first column twice as wide as the others. I can do this by typing the number 2 followed by 1s for the rest of the columns. Now we've got the column widths how we want them, and I can add the photo. And that's it. You could also go in and center align some of the columns, but I'll leave that for another tutorial. Happy wireframing!